Recording in progress. So, hello friends. Hope you all are doing well. So, in our previous lecture, uh, we had discussed about uh, while loop. Okay. So let's let's continue the series of your uh, Java loops, and uh, today uh, we will gonna discuss about your for loop concept. Okay. So, uh, so basically, for loop is also uh, used for the looping concept. Okay. Uh, that means if you if you uh, have a fixed number, that uh, how many times you have to you have to uh, perform any task. Then in that part, uh, in that particular condition, uh, uh, we will gonna use your for loop concept. Okay, although although uh, you can use the concept of your Java while loop, but uh, gen, uh, but uh, in in general, uh, we will gonna discuss about uh, we will gonna use about your for loop concept. Okay, and uh, also also according to your. Uh, uh, according to your programming requirement uh, you can you can choose any concept of your uh, looping either it, either it uh, will be your uh, java while loop and either either it will be your uh, java for loop okay so uh, today uh, we will going to discuss about your for loop concept so let me share my uh, share my screen once so then uh, uh, we will continue Our today lecture uh, with an example. So I uh, hope my body screen uh, will be vis visible to all of you. Okay. So let's go to our VS Code IDE. Uh, let's make make uh, delete all this program. Okay. So today uh, we will gonna discuss about your for loop concept. Okay. For loop. So the basic syntax of your uh, for loop, if I will told you the basic syntax of your uh, for loop, uh, that is inside your uh, for loop, uh, uh, we will gonna pass three three statement, okay? Three statement uh, we will gonna pass, okay? A state, a statement one, statement one and same as it is uh, we will want to pass three statement inside your for loop okay uh, we will want to pass three statement inside your for loop okay so uh, this uh, this is your statement one this is your statement two and mm, this is your statement three okay and after this your your for loop is also gonna uh, is also gonna start and end uh, with your curly braces just same like your java while okay and inside your these two curly braces uh, you will gonna write your code okay uh, you can say that the logical logical code okay so this is the basic syntax of your java for loop okay and this is the basic syntax of your for loop although although inside your uh, java while loop uh, what we will gonna do that uh, we will uh, we will provide a single single comparator statement inside your uh, java while loop and then uh, and then uh, we will gonna write our our logical code inside your curly braces okay but in case of your for loop uh, we will gonna pass a three three conditional statement here and then uh, we, uh, we will gonna start the our uh, logical code uh, which is the requirement of your uh, program uh, that will uh, that will be gonna execute inside your these two curly braces of your for loop again so um, for the better understanding your for loop concept let's take the previous example uh, that uh, we had discussed discussed in our last lecture that you have to print uh, you have to print java tag for the five times uh, let's check you have to print your java tag for the five times okay so if uh, if uh, we are going to use the concept of your for loop then what uh, what we will going to uh, do that that 
uh, first of all, you have to declare a, a variable. Uh, let's take it i, okay? And uh, let's initialize your uh, variable i with zero. So then I have to print my Java take for the five time, okay? So uh, here we had taken your uh, variable i is equal to zero. Then your i should be uh, less than five. And then our i will gonna increase one by one, okay? And inside this, uh, we will gonna pass the output string that is Java tech, okay? Java tech. So see, uh, see how how your for loop is gonna uh, gonna execute here. See, uh, first of all, your your uh, your Java compiler is come here, and then uh, then it will it will start the execution of your Java for loop. Okay, compiler start the execution okay start the execution of for loop okay for loop so from uh from this point uh your your java compiler is going to start the execution of your for loop and then uh if if your uh, uh your uh you can say that the compiler is come inside your uh, for loop then it will uh it will execute these three statement okay uh, then it uh, then it will be checked that yeah your i variable is contain a value zero okay uh, then it will gonna compare that is your zero is greater than uh, your uh, zero is less than five then yes your uh, zero is less than five so this this particular condition is true then your uh, your compiler is going to execute this particular piece of code okay uh, then it will going to print your java tech for the first time okay and then uh, then it will uh, return again and i plus plus means uh, means your your compiler is going to uh, going to update your uh, value of i by one okay i i plus plus means here i plus plus means i is equal to i is equal to i plus one okay so uh this is the this is the basic concept about your i plus plus okay so if your if your compiler is came here and then it will check uh, that the condition is passed that is i plus plus okay uh, then your uh, value of i is gonna update and uh, now it will become one okay and now the the second condition is uh, gonna check that is your one is greater than sorry uh, one is less than five if if this particular condition is true then uh, yes uh, your uh, one is less than five so this this particular condition is true then your uh, your java compiler is again come inside your uh, for loop and it will gonna execute this particular line of code okay so your java tech is uh, now get printed for the second time okay now your again your compiler is came here and now the value of i is get updated uh, once again so now your uh, value of i is become two two okay so uh, now this particular second condition is uh, gonna check again uh, that is if your two is less than five if your two is less than five then your uh, uh, you can say that the line number 12 is going to execute to once again so uh, yes your 2 is less than 5 then your java tech is going to print for the third time here okay and same uh, same identity uh, your java compiler is come again and now your uh, value of i is become 3 okay so yes 3 is less than 5 so your compiler come uh, just came inside and uh, execute this particular line so your java take is going to print for the fourth time okay and now it will going to uh, it will going to update the uh, value of i again and now this time your uh, value of i is become 4 then yes 
4 is less than 5 okay uh, now this condition is again true so your uh, java tag is going to print for the fifth time and now see now if your if your compiler is gonna uh, gonna update the value of i uh, once again then now your uh, value of i is become 5 and uh, then after your this uh, your this particular condition is going to check that is if 5 is less than 5 if 5 is less than 5 then this this particular code is going to use good but your 5 is not less than 5 okay your 5 is not less than 5 uh, uh, that means this uh, this uh, your second condition is wrong uh, that means your for loop is gonna end at that particular condition okay in in this case uh, your uh, for loop is gonna end okay and then after that it will gonna execute your this line of code uh, that gonna return outside your for loop so uh, here uh, we will gonna pass the uh, simple message that for loop end okay so now let's run your program here and uh, we will see that your java tech one two three four five time is going to print it and uh, then after your last statement uh, that is for loop index uh, that is uh, written just outside your uh, for loop is going to print okay so uh, this is all about your uh, java for loop okay now uh, you can uh, you can also make an uh, uh, single uh, simple uh, you can say that the ablation in your uh, for loop like you can you can declare your uh, i just outside your for loop okay uh, you can simply declare your i just outside your uh, for loop it will it will also gonna work properly okay so see uh, it will also gonna uh, work properly run it java tech java tech java tech java tech and then after it for loop it okay also also if you if you uh, want to uh, if you want to initialize the uh, value of i from the one then uh, you can also make it okay uh, but a uh, single change uh, you have to make it that is your i should be less than or equals to 5 okay equals to five. see if uh, if uh, you are not uh, make it i uh, less than equals to 5 then it will gonna print your uh, java tag only for the four time let's uh, run it so see uh, here uh, one two three four five uh, four time okay your uh, your java tag is gonna print only for the four time okay uh, because your i is uh, gonna start uh, from one and uh, uh, one and it will uh, gonna uh, run till this particular code okay so uh, your i is uh, gonna start from the uh, one so uh, uh, so uh, the, there is a first condition uh, that is uh, one is less than four and uh, your second condition is two add uh, two is less than five your third condition is three is less than five and your fourth condition is four is less than five but if your fifth condition is gonna uh, gonna is good uh, then uh, then your uh, uh, this particular condition is going to false here false and your uh, for loop is become ended uh, that's why uh, here you have to make it i should be less than equals to 5 okay and uh, after uh, make it i is uh, less than equals to 5 your this particular condition is uh, gonna true and then your java tag uh, will be print for the five times okay five times run it oh, sorry just uh, what's going on here okay uh, run it here and uh, now you can see that your java tech uh, is going to print for the five time okay so this is all about your uh, java for loop concept Hope you all guys have uh, uh, now a clear concept of, 
about your Java for loop, okay? So in our uh, next lecture, uh, we will gonna discuss some of uh, basics questions uh, with your for loop. And then uh, we will uh, we will start our uh, next uh, lecture with your Java area, okay? So till then, keep learning, keep growing, okay? Uh, bye bye, happy coding. See you.